All right, um, welcome to the marching band concert. Um, every year we kind of do this as a review of the season and it gives us a chance to introduce all the band members to you, which we'll do in a little bit. Um, we're gonna continue our program, one, you know, chronologically going through the summer. The first thing we do, of course, is the Lake Festival Parade. And I always like to do a patriotic number for that uh, particular event. And then we keep several patriotic numbers in our back pocket for when we need them. Um, there's always a time when some event is going on then um, some of them come up at the last minute, so it's always good to keep a couple things, you know, ready to go like that. Um, and so this year, um, our patriotic tune for the Lake Festival Parade was This Is My Country. Our second number um, is one we did for uh, Military Appreciation Night, um, and we do it several times throughout the year. Uh, we use this, this tune for Veterans Day and a few, other, a few other things. This is a medley of all the service songs. So if we have any uh, veterans or active service, uh, active duty service members in the audience, I invite you to stand when your uh, branch's uh, anthem is played. This is Salute to America's Finest.
I'm going to invite Milo Hughes to come up here. She's our field commander for this year. Um, and we're going to do for you um, the senior song. That we, we call this the senior song. It's the song that the seniors chose out of their past four years that was their favorite song that they played and that we recognized them with at senior night. Um, and so they chose from our Queen show from 2020. Yeah, that was COVID year because we had to rehearse the whole thing outside. I remember well. Um, uh, this is Fat Bottom Girls. This year, and uh, we chose, or I chose, the, the the theme of funk music through the ages. As I was researching different pieces that are, in, in one of the ways, you probably don't know this, but you know, people say, "How do you come up with the ideas for this show?" Well, I look at what's available from the publishers in any given year, and then I go, "Okay, what themes can I make out of this?" Because a lot of times, you know, you get an idea for a song, and unless you can afford to pay somebody to custom arrange it for you, which we cannot because you have to pay copyright on top of that and everything else for the, you know, not to mention for the arranger's fees. You have to go with stuff that's already published, right? Um, and so, as I was researching pieces for this year, I looked at, you know, of course, what's available, but, you know, from the publishers, and then what's at a level that we can play, and the time, you know, the time that we have to put it together and all that kind of stuff. So, um, this, two, this show kind of came together um, nicely. Um, it starts with September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, the second tune, uh, Fast Forward to Earth, Wind, and Fire, that was that tune, I believe, was 1977 or 78. I couldn't tell you exactly. But um, then uh, uh, the second tune was, is a tune called Buck Jump by a current popular artist called Trombone Shorty, um, who's a jazz musician, but this, he wrote this funk tune called Buck Jump. And then the uh, final number goes back to 1980 um, and the tune Word Up. So I'll we'll leave it to Milo to conduct our way through these three teams.
Uh, the next thing I'd like to do, if, if, with your indulgence, is to introduce um, the students in the band. We don't get our names called out when we make a good play, you know, on the, uh, on the field. We don't wear our names across the back of our jackets. And so we always perform as a unit, and everything we do is about um, this group as a whole. Um, and so um, we don't get individual recognition a lot. So I'm going to introduce the freshmen at this time, and I'm going to ask them to stand at their seat and face the audience and wave so that we can see who you are. Um, and we'll applaud for all of them at the end. Okay? So this year's freshmen whoops, are Mariah Brockman, Chloe Bruce, Anna Kaler, Owen Colson, Harrison Dabbled, Sam Davis, Larrick Doner, Christian Fent, Karen German, Riley Hageman, Allison Hall, Nick Harding, Amber Hardings, Onyx Johnson, Bo Kester, Caleb McAfee, Alexis McGee, Aiden Meyer, Mason Posada, Mackenzie Putoff, Josh Shane, Tom Schott, Misha Snow, Stella Standerford, and Bella Wagner. Ladies and gentlemen, our freshmen. Um, we're going to go on with the first tune from our second show. Um, our second show was Internet uh, Spoofs and our favorite, favorite comedy sketches. So we stole music that, that was featured in, in comedy sketches and Internet uh, Spoofs. And so our first tune, of course, everybody knows as the More Cowbell song, right? This is, and it features our cowbell soloist, Ethan Bruce, back there. <laughs> In his tribute to Will Ferrell, this is Don't Fear the Reaper. like to introduce the sophomores, so I'll ask the sophomores to stand as they call their name, Christopher Brockman, Ariana Enyart, 
Mallory Fortman, Jackson Greger, yeah, yeah. Lucas Lejeune, yeah. Caitlin Myers, Austin Novitsky, Juliana Now Anderson, Cortland Sexton, Eli Spring, Carly Stuckey, Isabel Toby, Haley Thomas, Gavin Wagner, Kyla Wagner, Mason Williams, and Ali Young, our sophomores. Um, our next tune is another, uh, another taken from another skit from Saturday Night Live that later became a movie. Um, Y'all remember the uh, Night at the Roxbury movie? Um, it was, it was a, if you don't know the skit, um, it won't be funny when I tell the story. <laughs> but, it's, but it's about these two guys that go clubbing and they go from, from you know, nightclub to nightclub harassing girls to try to get them to dance with them. And of course, they're the weirdest, creepiest guys you can imagine. So nobody wants to dance with them. So this is the two that went along with that. Uh, that was a huge hit at the time. This is called What is Love? Next, we're going to introduce our juniors. So I'll ask them to stand as I call their name. Taryn Bowlby. Yeah. Rachel Fortman. Yeah, Rachel. Lily Heckler. Yeah. Milo Hughes. Yeah. Ava Klosterman. Yeah. Blake Lee. Yeah. Dakota McAfee. Yeah. Christoph Melendrez. Yeah. Elise Muther. Gabby Pushel, Matthias Springer, yeah! Ryan Wibbenmeyer, and Jack Zhang. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, our juniors. Yeah! Our next song, um, I probably need no introduction. It's every band director's worst nightmare because every second. <laughs>
So that song is called Careless Whisper, and if you want to go see the original or prank that that came from, go on the internet and look up Sexy Sax Man, <laughs> and that's what you'll see, and it's actually pretty hilarious. So, uh, uh, and our own Sexy Sax Man, of course, is Lucas Lejeune, so good morning. <laughs> He started learning to play that song, I think, in the seventh grade and has been annoying me with it ever since. <laughs> and so, this is how you take lemons and turn them into lemonade. Um, finally, I'm going to introduce the seniors and I'm going to ask each of them to stand up and be recognized as I say their name and then come forward. And as they're coming forward, I'll invite the parents to come down. Um, normally, at senior night, there's a photographer present that takes a picture of every uh, senior and their parents, and apparently nobody made that arrangement this year, um, and so they didn't get their picture taken. So we're, as each senior comes down, I'm going to ask them to go over here by Jonathan Williams there, um, and seniors meet your parents, and you can get your picture taken together in, with you in your uniform. So, uh, Ethan Bruce. Um, where are we? Bella Carpenter. <laughs> Ryan Chapman. <laughs> Jerry Clucky. <laughs> Grace Cramson. Gabby Heindel. <laughs> Hannah Kester. <laughs> Shibley Crick. <laughs> Jenna Mumford. Ethan Olwai. Yeah! Natalie Prater. <laughs> Michaela Rosario. <laughs> Brady Sapp. And play style. And while they're finishing up over there, um, I want to take a moment and thank um, the rest of the band staff over here. Um, this doesn't, you know, this is not a solo act by any means. These guys take care of a thousand details, both on the field and behind the scenes. Um, so I'd like to thank Cass McHugh. Yes. Chris Wood. And Kirsten Fuelin. I'd also like to thank our band booster officers um, and uh, all of you. If you have um, helped in the concession stand, if you rode a bus to a game, if you uh, made cookies or provided food or made sandwiches or you know for any of the games um, you know all of those things take tremendous amounts of effort and, and a lot of going out of your way so I'd like everybody who helped with anything this fall please stand up and be recognized Mrs. Heindel, did you have any announcements you wanted to make at this time? <laughs> Where would she go? No? You sure? I know how you like to talk and tell them. Okay. I know how you enjoy that. Okay. Um, 
our third song, or our third show this year. Um, I always try to at least do one show that includes some current music. You know, when you get to my age, you have that nostalgia thing, and you like to go back and play tunes from, you know, like when you were in high school and whatnot. And fortunately, these guys still like that music, you know, which is pretty amazing. Um, but I also try to do some current things, and so that's, that's kind of uh, the theme of, of this third show. And as it worked out, um, I found a couple tunes that I thought would be like good additions to our regular repertoire in the stands for like years to come. And so we called this show Future Stadium Classics because um, they're, they're good tunes that we can use to add, uh, you know, in the stands for, for years and at basketball games and so on. And this first one is called Uprising. I guess that makes me cooler. Than that. <laughs> this is called Good For You.
tune from this uh, show is called Industry Baby. This next one has kind of become a classic for us. Um, we have a couple of tunes that we kind of rotate when we do the combined number with the eighth grade band, seventh and eighth grade bands. Um, it's hard to find marching band music that's accessible to seventh and eighth graders. And you want them to feel like they're, you know, and they are, they are contributing. They, we don't just want them to stand there and look good and have a chance to, you know, we want, have, they want, to, we want them to have a chance to contribute to the sound. And so to find charts that are cool and sound good, that are at that level is kind of tricky. So I have this rotation of about three or four tunes that we do over and over again. And all these guys played this in junior high and could probably play it with their eyes closed. This is Paint It Black by the uh, Rolling Stones. up a little bit with a couple of old stadium classics. Um, I don't think it's legal to have a, uh, a football game in the state of Ohio without these next two tunes. This is the Hay Song and Hang On Sleep.
front line is everybody's favorite. Um, and so uh, we're gonna have them play a few of their cadences. Um, in addition to learning all the tunes that these guys have to learn, they have to learn their various cadences, or what we call street beats, um, to play in parades and other public performances and so on. And so I'm gonna turn them loose. Milo and I are gonna step off to the side and let them go.
One more time, and then let's do all of it double tempo. I want to see those dances again. <laughs> Um, we're going to finish up with this line of fight song, of course, and I want to thank everybody for a great season. Um, thank you to our seniors for their great leadership throughout the year. Thank you to your, your, your parents for all the things you do um, to get them here to, to make all of this happen. Um, I know that it's an inconvenience um, sometimes for families to get folks here and rearrange schedules around all of our stuff that's going on. Um, guess what, you get to do it a little bit longer because we're going to at least one playoff game and probably a couple, I would think. So, um, so thank you for a great year. And now the Salina fights on.